am Wannes uh, from the Interact 2 Seas program. And as we heard from uh, other uh, Interact representatives, uh, we have many societal challenges uh, that are related to, to cross-border situations, realities, let's say. We heard stories from France, Netherlands, uh, Belgium, but uh, in the 2 Seas program we also work together with the UK. So we, have, we share this maritime border, which is, uh, with, and, and we also see in the UK, of course, the, these challenges that, that are arising. So they are also in desperate need of innovative solutions uh, related to aging. So uh, that's really what, what makes it interesting to make use of, of this uh, vehicle, let's say, to, for cooperation across borders to, to, to find together uh, uh, solutions for, uh, for joint uh, challenges. So. Uh, and for the to cease program, the subject of health is, is a very important one. Uh, one out of five projects that we are uh, funding uh, is actually directly related to health, uh, which means uh, over 50 million of ERDF is being uh, committed to health-related projects. And it's important to see health, uh, or to define it, let's say, in a very broad way. We have lots of technical innovation oriented projects that support development of, of, uh, of uh, new health uh, or new processes, new drugs, etc. for the health sector. We, but we also have lots of social innovation related projects which are more, uh, more or less related to health and well-being in a broader sense. So uh, this is really a, a, major, a major focus for, for our program this period. I'm Albert Telemi and I work for Indirect Grid Origin. So our program is built on four countries, Luxembourg and its neighboring countries, uh, Belgium, France and Germany. And these four countries have really different levels of uh, wealth and also different um, types of population. So for us it's really important to support health and aging in this area because uh, even though if uh, we are one of the region with the highest um, cross-border commuters we see a strong really concerning actually lack of health services in the area um, so uh, our program supports uh, different projects in in a total of eight million euros on aging um, improving uh, social services and also emergency services and um, connecting people after they after they, they retired. Uh, I'm Sara from uh, Interreg Flanders, the Netherlands. Um, our program focuses mainly on the theme of innovation. So um, when we talk about innovation, uh, we also um, talk about uh, increasing competitiveness in the area, in the border region. And that's why we have a special focus on um, companies. So we want to make them very enthusiastic about um, stepping into a project so that they can um, make a product, a service, an application um, very tangible, that it's uh, ready for the market. Um, so also in health, we have a couple of projects uh, where a lot of companies are involved in a project where they have the opportunity to make uh, specific products um, in the health care sector. So. Hi, I'm uh, Julie from uh, Interreg France Wallonie Vlaanderen and uh, for us, for us, um, well, uh, maybe you don't know this, but one in three Europeans actually live in a cross-border uh, area. So it's a huge number of people. In Belgium, that means that two million people work and study, study every day uh, on either side of the border. And uh, we all interact, have the same objectives, is to struggle to tackle um, common challenges, financial and administrative uh, challenges for the people who live on the border. It's really important. And we have been doing that since 1990. Mm -hmm. And uh, for our program, aging is definitely uh, an issue because the age pyramid, uh, either in France or in Belgium, both in France and in Belgium, is increasing. The average age of the people is increasing so we need to support projects that we help will help and support these people the healthcare is as well uh, a very big uh, theme in our program um, from the start uh, 30 years ago uh, the project 
Egypt have aimed uh, at uh, obviously uh, having a better access to healthcare for border population, but also uh, working on uh, prevention and health education. And concretely, that means uh, working on the, the integration of cross-border health uh, basins and uh, constructing a health area in uh, our cooperation, uh, our territory. So since 30 years now, we have worked on three main components, is healthcare cooperation, emergency medical care, and um, medical social cooperation. So since 30 years, uh, our program has uh, done a lot of work on health, and uh, we even got presented as an example by the European Commission in a publication that is entitled uh, European Cross-Border Cooperation on Health. Um, it was published in 2017 and uh, you can read all of our projects uh, about health in this publication.